Welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box today. We've got something special for you because we're taking a look at the Techno Phantom X. This is the box for the Techno Phantom X, and I really appreciate the box because it's so different in shop from the usual that we from Techno. Very sleek, very classy looking, and when you open it up, you get some new accents with Tech saying for the ones who are worth it. But anyway, Lift that up and you'll see the phone and the the case in their own compartments. The case is made out of plastic, but it's a little bit This will offer very little protection for the phone. Seguro for minor scratches, but for drops, I don't think so. Next up, of course, the phone itself. Young guys, this is the Phantom X in the Iceland blue colorway. So a premium feel on phone at all, as in the limit of the spectrum compared to their other phones in the Hawaiian before. But we'll talk more about this later on. Now, when you lift up the insert for the phone in case, you have separate boxes for the rest of the accessories as well. Next, we have a box for the included charging cable, USB-C, and the earphones. And lastly, we have the 33 watt charging brick. Of course, we have the Phantom X. First, again, the name of this colorway is Ice and Blue. It has a glass back, which is Corning Gorilla Glass 5. And I'm guessing the frame of this is metal since major magnetic shop. Pero yung saktong bigat na naman. Again, Iceland blue yung color nito and texture din yung back panel niya. I'm not sure kung kita siya sa B-roll, pero parang may pinstripes to. And slightly matte yung finish niya, pero medyo malaki yung camera hump niya compared to other mid-range phones na experience natin recently. As far as the button and ports go, you'll see that they still managed to fit the power button and volume rocker on the right side of the phone. Kahit na medyo manipis yung frame, they had to move the SIM tray to the top of the phone because of that. And hindi ko na siya napakita, pero triple spot and tray to. And so moving on, on the screen, it's at 6.7 inches, 4 for Apple and Panasonic camera, and a full HD plus resolution, and your refresh rate yeah, is at 90 Hz, so sampling balance down for the smoother experience versus battery life. Now, as mentioned earlier, curved in display now, which is kind of surprising since a lot of brands are moving away from this design. There's also a fill shape punch hole on the left hand corner of the screen to house the two selfie cameras. One is a 48 megapixel shooter, and the other is an 8 megapixel ultra wide. Well, we're on the topic of cameras, let's talk about the ones on the back. So, triple camera setup shot with a 50 megapixel main at f1.9, then you have a 13 megapixel telephoto with two times optical zoom and an 8 megapixel ultrawide. Here are a couple of sample photos we've taken so far. So move on naman tayo sa internals ng Phantom X. You have a Mediatek Helio G95 processor with 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. To be honest with you guys, for the OS, this runs on Android 11 with high OS. There are some pre-installed apps that hindi naman siya sobrang dami. And they also have their own voice assistant. For now, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, sub to the channel, and make sure you hit that notification bell. See you guys next time. And of course, Kung nagustuhan mo itong video, click mo naman yung like at subscribe. Maraming salamat sa panonood. Next time ulit.